Hello everybody and welcome once again to North American Elite. This is your host Danny Jackpot alongside with no one tonight. It's just me in the commentator's booth. Danny Jackpot here. Four in AEW matches. Nick Gemini, Shane Corson, part of the Rising Star Tournament about to take place. Let's get to this match underway, folks. We are live here in North American Elite. Nick Space Cowboy Gemini making his way down to the ring. Rising Star Championship Tournament bracket. This is going to be the fourth round match. Nick Gemini going to take on the leader of the Dark Carnival. The guy who likes to go by Shane Corson now. Formerly Sunny Meadows. A long time ago. As Shane Corson prepares to make his way out to the ring. Jane Corson is an interesting fella, leader of the Dark Carnival, a former NAEW or NAW Tag Team Champion twice for New NAW, also a former OPW European Champion is Sunny Meadows. Coming at it alone tonight in the Rising Star Championship Tournament, as you know NAW likes to have alone you know more more one-on-one -on -one action when it comes to these tournament matches I'm sure Denise Parkinson would love to be with Nick Gemini his his girlfriend who has we seen in NAEW lose a match to Cheryl Nicholson that was on the last roadblock Shane Corson in the ring these two men look like they're about to square off here we go the bell rings Underway, Shane Corson, Nick Gemini, even match so far. Shane Corson looks to have the upper hand first. But Nick, but Nick Gemini has Shane Corson down on the mat with a drop toe hold. Danny Jackpot here in AW Roadblock 3. Going on to what we have Six Cents, the next big event here in AW. Some matches, some announced, some matches that I can happily say are announced. Once again, the Fatal Four Way Maple Leaf Championship match. That match is going to have Al Cabrera, the defending champion, against Aussie, Andy, Lamarcus Carter, and Connor James, Cash Corporation. Also, at that very event, we're going to crown the first ever Divas champion. Where we've seen three of the four Divas qualify so far. We have seen now Chantel Queen. We've also seen. Lilith, we've also seen Cheryl Nicholson all qualify for that match. Shane Corson, the upper hand on Nick Gemini right now. Also, Extreme Tony and Lester Barkley has been named to take place at that event in Sixth Sense. Extreme Tony able to get a little bit of revenge on Lester Barkley at the last aggression. Nick Gemini. Taking the fight to Shane Corson here. Momentum firmly on his side. Big clothesline there by Nick Gemini. Whoa, Gemini, what you doing? Gemini, get away from my table. Gemini, get away from my table. Nick Gemini getting back in the ring. Has something planned for Shane Corson. Sunset flipping him over the, over the top there. And then nailing like some kind of like just power bomb. Sun flip, sunset, plop, sunset flip power bomb. Only got a one count though on Shane Corson. Nick Gemini's got to have control of this match. You would think the momentum's definitely got to be on his side. Oh my god, just jumped to the top and a big Frankensteiner. Springboard. Crossbody. One, two. Only getting two. Nick Gemini with a running Hurricane Rana. Got Shane Corson tied up in the trio. Whoa, yes he does. What's he got planned for Shane Corson? Oh my God. Just stomping on his chest. Nick Gemini bringing a fight to Shane Corson like I've never seen Nick Gemini done before. First singles match here in AEW. Nick Gemini's having and he's taking the fight to Shane Corson.
Nick Gemini now. What's this? We got a two, three. Nick Gemini moving on to the Rising Star Championship Tournament. Nick Gemini has qualified, has moved on, has defeated Shane Corson with a variety. The last minute or two was just the Nick Gemini highlight reel out minute. The highlight reel minute for Nick Gemini as he just went on an array of high, high impact maneuvers knocking down Shane Corson. Shane Corson, though, the fighter that he is, never gave up. But this big roll up, catching Shane Corson maybe off guard even a little bit. Nick Gemini picks up a win, moves on. This is NAEW Roadblock Episode 3, and Nick Gemini has won the match in the opening contest. Celebrating a victory, Nick Gemini, well-earned kid. Damn it! Again. Again! It was me! It's always me. Every time it's always me. Something's gotta change, man. Something's gotta change, or else I'm just, just gonna be in LaMarcus Carter's shadow. And I'm, I'm in nobody's shadow, man. I'm in nobody's shadow. Cash Corporation, Cash Corporation was supposed to bring me the nights. But instead, Al Cabrera and Ozzy Andy keep coming back. They keep coming back to my life! They haunt me! They torment me! But, 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 but I now know what I must do. And what I gotta do now is simple. I, I can't just beat them. I can't just beat them. I must end them. Their careers, their legacies, their lives. I, I must kill Ozzy Andy and Al Cabrera. Whatever it is. I still have creeps from that promo. Connor James threatening to kill Aussie Andy and Al Cabrera. It just gave me, it still just gives me the, oh. I have bad vibes from that. Oh, yeah, I hope Aussie Andy now can bear as careful with Connor James. Al Lightning here to defend his brutality championship in a six man battle royal match over the top rope. Al Lightning won his title of aggression in a four way backstage brawl. It'll be interesting to see the six men that compete in this match. Coming out right now is a man who we've seen debut. The CXWI Superstar, now NAEW Superstar, also Connor Isikoff. As he would just like to be known here in NAEW as Isikoff. He says he's as a member of the Mean Street Mafia. He is now the leader of the Mean Street Mafia. I asked him who the Mean Street Mafia is. Him, Sebastian Murphy, and Hugo. The Mean Street Mafia. I guess maybe this was who the answers were being led into the last few years for Sebastian Murphy and Hugo, and Isikoff is here now. Look, he wants nothing more than to win this brutality championship. I do, I do know that Isikoff really wants to win this championship belt. He has made it a big goal here in NAEW to win this belt. As you see, Monster Hunter Johnny D coming out with the signature Jane saw. I just still can't believe the words said by Connor James. That promo, whatever it takes to just end Andy and Al, it's scary. Johnny D 
very familiar with Al Cabrera, has competed with Johnny D and Al Cabrera, or, or Johnny D has competed with Al Cabrera and Connor James in the same very, very same match. They made Maple Leaf Championship all the way back at four score. Not even all the way back. That was just a few weeks ago. Johnny D. Signature chainsaw and all. Like I said, swinging that thing around like a madman. The monster hunter. Now hunting monsters in the brutality division. Here comes the mad cow, Alex Snow. A man we've seen defeat Dale Von Deuce. A man we know is moving on to the Rising Star Championship Tournament is Alex Snow. Looking to win the brutality title once again, though. Alex Snow says nothing gets more brutal than he does. He's proven it with a, just, just brawling with the Monster Messiah. Monster Messiah would not forget that, taking him out. These two men fought in a six-man where my monster Messiah and Alex Snow had fought in a just, just brawled in a ladder match, a six-man ladder match between each other almost the entire match. The only things that got real personal between those two, as we now see Bonkers making his way down the ring. Shane Corson wasn't as wasn't victorious earlier. Bonkers maybe hoping to have different luck than his leader Shane Corson. Bonkers alone here tonight. Bonkers, a former ITF Tag Team Champion is Bonkers. Looking for maybe his first, 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 first glimpse a single success here in Kaw. Trying to win this Brutality Championship. Bonkers is a guy I would not want to get in the ring with because of course everybody, Bonkers is Bonkers. Puck had eliminated him in the Turkey Bowl, his own tag team partner and best friend. The foreign mime, Puck. As we go from Bonkers to Isaiah Ice. Isaiah Ice here to compete for the NAEW Brutality Championship. That's right, everybody. These six men over the top row. Battle Royal once again. Isaiah Ice. Uh, Currently, are, are, for, are also the an Empire Cruiserweight Champion in his time. Isaiah Ice, looking to add on to his resume. Al Lightning, the current Brutality Champion, awaiting all the entrance of this match. Isaiah Ice getting in the ring. Isaiah Ice is going to be a hell of a challenge. Johnny D. There we go, all six men in this match finally, like I said. And Al Lightning has Alex Snow in a bad place. You could also call Alex Snow almost Al Snow. Kind of funny. As Isikoff able to fight off bonkers there. So you see Johnny D and Isaiah Ice squaring off. That's an interesting combination right there. I love how in NAEW almost any match you can see between any six men is an interesting combination. Any, any almost any match you want to see. Isikoff taking it to bonkers right now. Johnny D and Isaiah Ice still fighting. I like to see those two have a singles match. Here we go, all men trying to eliminate somebody out. Lightning, the champion was able to get somebody out of there. Or was able to fight off his man right away. Bonkers got tossed out. Bonkers is out of there. Five men left remaining for the Brutality Championship. Current champion Al Lightning taken down with an arm drag. Isikoff working on Alex Snow in the corner. Johnny D also in a bad position. Isaiah Ice says Johnny D in a bad position knocking him out. Al Lightning trying to get in on Alex Snow but no. Alex Snow will fight his way back in the ring. Alex Snow really had to fight his way back in the ring there. As you see, as a coffin now letting resting, letting those two men fight. Now circling these two men, El Lightning and Isikoff. El Lightning going after Isikoff though. And there we go, yeah, I turned tilt the world like arm drag on Alex Snow by Isaiah Ice. Float over DDT now on Alex Snow by Isaiah Ice. Al Lightning has Isikoff in a corner. 
is a call for limited bonkers. Now in a bad position himself. A lightning drop kicks. Or a lightning has his in a bad position. I see an ice drop kicked Alex Snow. L Lightning tosses out Isikoff. L Lightning looking to defend his championship here. Alex Snow in a bad position. And L Lightning now breaks it up. And Alex Snow. You see that told Isaac Ice and he agreed. Time out. Let's get the champion out first. Alex Snow then eliminates the champion. L Lightning can't believe what just happened. The teamwork. Alex Snow in a bad position. Isaiah Ice is the champion. Isaiah Ice has just won the Brutality Championship here in North American Elite Wrestling. I can't believe it. L Lightning, the champion, was tossed out by Alex Snow. And then Isaiah Ice right away capitalizing on Alex Snow, who didn't even have a second to celebrate eliminating the champion. You see the new champion of the Brutality Division, the Brutality Champion now, Isaiah Ice. What? And, and what's going on in the back? Monster Messiah attacking Alex Snow in the back when he got back. He just got back there. I can't believe what we just seen before we went to break right there. Monster Messiah had attacked Alex Snow when he was coming through the curtain. What the heck? We got another match here for the Rising Star Championship Tournament. As we move on, though, Brandon Shields is going to take on Chris Snyder one-on-one. -on -one. Monster Messiah, he's going to wrestle Nate Farron in the main event of Roadblock later. Yeah, we knew he was here. Him and Alex Snow, they, they, have, something that, they have something that's unfinished between those two. We gotta move on though, like I said, as Chris Snyder, this behemoth of a man, look at the size of this man, everybody. The muscle. This guy is built. He calls himself Brick House Chris Snyder. The Brick House. And he is built like a Brick House. He is absolutely right when he calls himself that, everybody. Easily the buffest man on this roster, Chris Snyder. I've seen him just throw guys with impact, little ease, little effort. Chris Snyder normally has been teaming with Nate Farron. We've seen him in a singles match with Brandon Shields, Jason, or Jason James, Brandon Shields' tag team partner, Jason James. But this would be Brandon Shields now going at Chris Snyder. And this is in the Rising Star Championship Tournament first round. That's right, Chris Snyder's in the ring. Brandon Shields in the ring. These two men look like they're ready to start off. The bell is rung. We've seen a little preview of this match at Aggression when we've seen Chris Snyder and Nate Farron defeat the fraternity in a tag team match. Brandon Shields, the more technical sound wrestler of the two, I would imagine, right away got advantage going after the shoulder, whipping into the shoulder pole. Something technical about that. But Chris Snyder now throwing off Brandon Shields, clotheslining him down to the mat. Pure power, adrenaline, and aggression is a guy like Chris Snyder. He could easily win the Rising Star Championship to be the very first Rising Star Champion. Brandon Shields could easily be the guy to knock off Chris Snyder and give him this first singles loss. Stomping down Chris Snyder. We've seen Chris Snyder debut at five Golden Rings in that tag team match team with Nate Farron to take on Andrew Hunter and Smokey in a losing effort. We we'll see Andrew Hunter. We got one a one count only by Brandon Shields. We're gonna take a little bit more, or on, on Brandon Shields, and take a little bit more to take him down. We're gonna see Biff Andreas and Zach Starr. Oh, a chop block there on Chris Snyder. Take on Smokey and Andrew Hunter for the right to take on the champions at six cents. Only getting a two count there. Did Brandon Shields on Chris Snyder? Oh, and then driving him down with that DDT to Chris Snyder. Just just driving Brandon Shields head down to the mat. Get a three count. Chris Snyder defeats Brandon Shields almost with ease here on Aggression Roadblock Episode 3. I can't believe that. 
Just like that, in a blink of an eye, Chris Snyder has won this match. That chop lock, only getting two, and I know, and that was, and that was barely at two. To driving him down with that with a DDT. See referee counting three in the replay. Chris Snyder defeats Brandon Shields with almost ease. And Chris Snyder telling the referee it's all about him. Chris Snyder might be your next, this might be your next Rising Star Champion, everybody. I can't believe with the, just the aggression of the DDT, the quickness by Chris Snyder. Brandon Shields, no small guy. No, no small horse in the stable of, in the stable of roster of NAEW. Chris Snyder picks up a big win and moves on to the tournament. Main event time, Nate Farron, Monster Messiah. And here we are, Monster Messiah. Nate Farron gonna be the main event. Nate Farron making his way down the ring already. Surprised me, catching me off guard. Nate Farron already quick, quickly wanting to get to the ring. Maybe after what Chris Steiner, his buddy, had just pulled off against Brandon Shields. Nate Farron wants to outdo him, maybe. Against a man like Monster Messiah, though, that's not going to be easy. This, these two men, a, a monster and, and a giant like Nate Farron at six foot nine, the main event here on Roblox, episode, episode three, also first round of the Rising Star Championship tournament. Both these men could also be the very first Rising Star champion as Nate Farron climbed the turnbuckle there, going off to the fans. Fans, I'm sure what the thing about Nate Farron. As he's normally not liked by the fans, but Monster Messiah is hated. Nate Farron, Wade, Monster Messiah. Fan, the light, the light is dark in here. We know here comes Monster Messiah now. The light is dark in the ring. So Monster Messiah is a scary dude. I don't know why Alex Snow wants to keep picking a fight with Monster Messiah. Or maybe he picked the fight with the wrong guy. Because Monster Messiah has now attacked him with aggression and attacked him just earlier tonight. Monster Messiah, former New Brutality Champion. Let's not forget. That's where it all started. That's where it all started when he lost that Brutality title. Monster Messiah wants to become the Rising Star Champion, though. He wants to deliver a sledge to Nate Farron, like he had. Like, like I, I'm just, I'm just taking guesses. This man does not, not does not speak normally to me, or does not speak normally to anybody. These two guys are actually familiar with each other, surprisingly or not. In a league called RWF. Bell had rung. These two men squaring off. Punches by Monster Messiah. Getting thrown on the top rope. Though by Nate Farron. Nate Farron. It brings Monster Messiah right down to the ring. The impact of Nate Farron. Like I said. These two men now brawl on the outside of the ring. Sort of a, a wrestling match. Or a fight. Whatever you want to call this. Still on the outside of the ring. Now just... Men both men countering each other. Nate Farron driving Monster Messiah's head down to the mat. Three count. Got a four. Oh my god, a suplex by Monster Messiah. Wherever he's at five, Messiah jumps back in the ring. Nate Farron catching his grips and the referee at six, but he got back in. And then Nate Farron is running back in at Monster Messiah again. No fear, Nate Farron. Going after Monster Messiah. Dropping him down with a big back backbreaker, and then Monster Messiah running at Nate Farron, getting reversed with a with a pancake. What I call the flapjack, a pancake, everybody. No, that was a flapjack, everybody. That was not a pancake. Oh, and it's kicking the bigger man, the shorter man down. Does Nate Farron? We've already seen five other guys now qualify in that tournament. You know, one count, Nate, uh, Nate Farron as Monster Messiah going for a discus clothesline, missing. Nate Farron missing the clothesline, getting caught up with a tilt the whirl, backbreaker, and then just stomping on him, Monster Messiah. Hate to be in the, in the ring with either of these guys. Monster Messiah is a madman. Dennis, the weight of him. Nate Farron driving him down to the ring with a bulldog, though. I think Monster Messiah should have left the cover on him when he had the win and his weight on him. Wouldn't guess that, but you got chain wrestling between Monster Messiah and Nate Farron. As Monster Messiah got behind Nate Farron, able to live that shin breaker. 
Looking for a huge power bomb 360 in him. The impact of that, Nate Fair might not kick out. Main event, Rising Star Championship Tournament Round 1. 1. Don't get a 1 count. Nate Fair somehow kicks out of that move. I am very surprised. Oh my god, he has the big man up for this for this accordion rack torture this accordion torture rack. I don't think he could last very on very long though. Monster Messiah is a big man. Looking for the choke slam now on Monster Messiah. We see Nate Farron use this in the past. Get the choke slam. Nate Farron excited. Hyped up. One, two, three. No, only getting two in the main event here on Roadblock. Monster Messiah kicks out. Messiah with the next TO. Nate Farron down. Two. Only getting two. This is clothesline knocks down Nate Farron. Monster Messiah. What is he doing? He is talking to the fans. And that's something I wouldn't expect out of the big man. 360 Powerball again by Monster Messiah. I wonder if he has a name for that move. Nate Farron again. Looking for a choke slam now. Oh my god. Farron has him in the air. Choke slam on Monster Messiah! You're kidding me! Monster Messiah with his second choke slam! One, two, three! No, he kicked out! These two men now are brawling, fighting Messiah! Irish whip! Referee, what can he squish there? Axe, no! Wait, still chair! Nate Farron with the chair now! Axe, no! Has in the chair! Axe, no! Trying to get the referee to recover now. Nate Farron, one, two, three. Nate Farron.